Hi there, Craig Dennison uh, with flyfishingchronicles.com and tonight we're going to tie a, a Hendrickson Emerger. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how to fish it at the end and uh, materials first. Uh, I like to use uh, Daiichi uh, 1130 um, size 12, which is a little bit generous. You can go 14, 16, especially later on in the hatch. Uh, this is a light wire 1X, um, 1X uh, fine wire, 1X short shank. Any curved shank hooks fine for this. Um, for tailing material, I will use a brown, Mayfly Brown Micro Zelon, which is a material that uh, Blue Ribbon Flies produces since they have most of the Zelon available in the U.S. So it's a great, real tiny diameter Zelon. Uh, for the body, we will use just uh, tan turkey biots, just plain turkey biots. I like to put a little bit of dubbing, a little bit, little bit of dubbing. Uh, brown, I'll use actually a natural, pardon me, a natural dubbing for around the thorax. And um, to make it visible, I'm going to use these high-vis spinner strips uh, with a... Just a great product, again, that Blue Ribbon Flies produces. Foam with a nice kind of fluorescent orange strip right in the center. And then uh, for the kind of wing material, we will use a bunch of uh, CDC. So nice quality CDC. I really believe I like the dark CDC. Uh, it imitates the earlier season mayflies a little bit better. So, And for thread, I'll, I like the dot kind of darker tan. You can go 6 dot. I just dot is a little bit less build up and I just think it kind of works out it, it, it ties better okay just start your bobbin you know a little bit past the eye and just start wrapping nice and tight notice how when I'm wrapping I really try to keep nice economy of motion all right first material is our micro zelon so I've got a clump of micro zelon and you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and just tweeze it. Just just kind of tweak it a little bit. Just tease it a little bit so it's not quite as blunt. And so it's got a little more natural taper to it. I like that. Just a little bit of taper. Okay. Take it. You want to tie in you know, about a third to half an inch for the, this length. Just a pinch wrap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to now wrap this on top of the hook shank I'm going to take this micro zelon and just keep it right on top of the hook shank then I'll trim it all right so I've trimmed that micro zelon a couple stray fibers there that doesn't matter that's giving me a little more body which I like on this fly a little bit more body when I wrap that turkey quill then just wrap make it nice and smooth wrap it back that's my body and We've got a stray fiber or two. Just trim that. So there's my trailing shuck for that. I'm next going to take a turkey quill. Uh, this is kind of a dark tan with a nice black line on, or a dark line on the edge. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. Tie in by the tip. Advance the thread. I'll probably have to use two because one won't be enough. Take your hackle pliers little pinch. This is where, you know, the rotary vise is just so nice. And I'm, I'm partial towards Renzetti myself. Just a couple wraps. I don't know if I can get one more or not. I think that's... Yeah, I'll try one more wrap. About to lose that. I don't have much space to navigate here. But Okay. There we go. You know, I'm not even worried. I'm not even going to come cut that. And I'm going to grab another one because and this won't hurt. I'm going to do two. Let's keep that body going a little bit. You can get by with one. I'm being a little picky. Put another one on. There I go. Bring that up. So I've got a nice clean body. It's got good segmentation it's kind of variegated that's what you want to have next step take your high-vis foam strip whoops 
and tie it in by the tip. Tie it in, just lay it right on top. Then, you know, that, that fo closed cell foam really compresses nicely. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to take some of my tan, du tan dubbing, a little bit of this tan dubbing, and I'll just kind of, I'll start simple with this tan dubbing because you don't need much. Wait, what I don't need on the by the side. I'm going to put it there. Block the camera. Really dub that nice and tight. Get that up there nice and tight. Notice we've got a bunch of good wraps on that. And just, there you go. I want a little bit of more dubbing, a little more dubbing on that. So I've pinched off another bit of my tan synthetic dubbing. This is a really fine, you want a really fine dubbing for this. Something that really compresses, it's tight. There you go. Wrap a little bit more. Okay. Got a little stray fiber there, that's okay. Now, next step. Take a puff of CDC. And, you know, CDC is great. Oil preen, good stuff. I'm going to take two here because I want a little more flotation. So I'm going to take two. I'm going to try to match those tips up. I'm going to take both fibers and marry them together if I can. Compress them. Just takes a second or two. Kind of put them together. And if they're not perfectly together, that's all right. Close. I just lay that right on top of the hook shank. So pinch. I'm going to do a pinch wrap, a nice pinch wrap between my fingers. One, two, three. That's all that's needed. Now, I don't, want to block, I don't want to block the camera angle too much, but I want to get a nice, tight cut there. Notice how I angle my scissors when I'm cutting that. There we go. So I've got, now I've got those fibers up. Next, last, one of the last steps is pretty easy. Take that. Pull that foam on over. So I'm holding it tight. And I'm just trying to divide that clump right in the middle. So it's a nice, you'll see, there, the camera probably can see that a little bit better right now. Divide it right in the middle. Just pull that over. You can pull it tight. One, two, three, just a couple quick wraps. Now, when you're Cut, when you're cutting this foam, you want to stretch it so it kind of cinches down. So I pulled all those fibers back just for security. I'm going to do another wrap or two. Now let's whip finish. And I have one final step after the whip finish. Oops. Hear that? Thread tension, nice and tight with the thread. Now, last step. Another neat little product called Watershed that I put. Um, it's just a, it's a waterproofing liquid. Put a drop on this and you can let it cure or dry for 24 hours, but it just really makes these flies buoyant. And I put it on there and you've got a real nice fishable. Hendrickson and Merger. It, it could also work as a cripple, stillborn. Who knows? The trout take it, though. And it's visible. Nice flush pattern. Not a, not a good high, high, fast water. A much, you know, much a better Spring Creek or, or, or Delaware or a technical fishery um, flat water fly. But give it a try. I think you'll like it. Thanks.